Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Wherever you may be, and whatever time it may be, I am Queen Diva. And you're watching my YouTube channel, Queen Diva. Please like and subscribe and share. I'm trying to build my YouTube channel. This is week three of my 12 week challenge. And um, you know, it's kind of going slow. I don't know why. I've been posting, I've been sharing, um, encouraging everyone to subscribe to my channel. I'm still figuring it out. Uh, right now I'm doing a storyteller format, which is just me talking and sharing information. Um, I will venture off to do other things, but this is cool. This is comfortable for me right now. So um, being Fantabulous Friday, looking forward to the weekend. I don't necessarily have any plans, but I just want to, you know, do some things around the house and some, I really want to work on my business. For those of you that may not know, I am Queen Deaver. I am a singer, songwriter, um, model, author, podcaster, you name it. I have so many hats, it's crazy. Um, the hat I'm wearing today, I don't wear hats often, but one of my um, sorority sisters from Gamma Sigma Sigma, a national service sorority, she owns this company and this is fresh on the yard. I actually bought this uh, two years ago and I think I've only worn it. This is my second time. And this shirt, it says historically black. And on the back, of course, PV A&M, a and M University, part of the Texas A and M system. This weekend is our homecoming. P V, you know. <laughs> I don't think I'll be going though. No. Isn't that terrible? And I'm literally down the street right here in Houston. But I have a lot of things that I got to take care of for my business. My business is Divine Voices Media, and I am all year long. I've been celebrating 19 years. 19 years being a full-time entrepreneur. It, it ain't been easy, <laughs> let me tell you. But it has been fun, I, I can say. Even in the frustrating moments and the tireless moments, it's been a lot of fun being an entrepreneur. And um, actually, one of the cool things of being an entrepreneur, I do small business consulting and multimedia production. So one of the many multimedia productions I do is this YouTube broadcast for my own YouTube channel. Um, and one of my clients that I'm very, very proud of, um, he is um, going to Harvard. He's going to Harvard University and he's gonna be attending a panel discussion. And he's so excited. Um, he got a ticket directly from one of the directors of the, oh my goodness, this loud voice. He, he, one of the directors of um, Harvard's um, Research Center, Research Center for African American Studies. Um, I can't lie me. I can't think of the name, but I know. I think it's the Hutchins African American Research Center. So they gave him a ticket. He's so excited, and he's going to go see, um, you know, some of hip hop's legends: uh, Ice T, uh, MC Shah Rock, um, Melly Mel, Tretch, um, Crazy Legs from the um, Rocksteady Crew. So they're all going to be at the panel. And he is going, his name is Perry, Mr. Perry Thompson. Um, and I'm so proud of him. I'm really so very proud of him. And so, of course, I helped coordinate that for him to get there and, you know, in a roundabout way of the panel. I'll discuss that at another time. But, um, <laughs> you know, you share an idea and somebody runs with it and leaves you out. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. But he is going to go, and I'm so proud of him. And so I'm going to be this weekend just working on some some projects, my own personal projects as um, you know as an entrepreneur. I love what I do. Um, I do small business consulting, and like I said, in multimedia production, and I produce my own off Broadway production, Strength of a Woman, a Phyllis Hyman tribute, and um, we're looking to do some great things with that. And then I also produce. A Nina Simone tribute. I'm oh, sorry, I just got an itch. A Nina, a Nina Simone tribute by um, one of my best girlfriends. I got a lot of best girlfriends. Well, not really, but but yes. <laughs> a young sunshine. She's an amazing singer, songwriter, producer, and uh, she's a star of Love, Pain, and Activism. A Nina Simone tribute, which I produced, and we are actually gearing up to do something this 
December, December as a fundraiser um, for the Rhythm and Blues Preservation Society. And uh, I'm a black music preservationist. And if you love black music and you want to help preserve its culture, you should join us. You should join us. Um, go to our, um, our IG is ACRBP. Uh, a C R B P S O C is Atlantic City and the Rhythm Blues Preservation Society. And you can find us as well on X, formerly known as Twitter, and Facebook. And we do a lot of great things. We're doing a lot of great things. And so stay tuned for that. Um, so it's fantabulous for me today because I was really thinking about, you know, the things that I do, I don't really realize how really cool it is. You know, you know how you do something and you put something together and you're just so busy in the present moment of planning it and putting it together, but you don't really realize how cool it really is. Well, I, I want to just really encourage you to enjoy the present moment. That is the word today. Enjoy the present moment. I know it's, you know, you get so caught up in getting it done and, and planning every little detail. But I want to encourage you, when you're planning and putting things together, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the victory. Enjoy the success of it. Because you'll miss it. You don't want to miss it. I had to be reminded. I had to be reminded by um, Ayanna Sunshine. You know, she's my BFF, and she's also the visiting performing artist for the Rhythm Blues Preservation Society. And she's the one who reminded me. She said, you know, a diva. You're doing a lot of great things. I don't even think you really realize how great you're doing. And I was like, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> he said, no, you need to, oh my goodness, people outside. You need to receive what you're doing. Receive the, the good and greatness that is, that you, you know, created or helped create and, um, enjoy it enjoy the moment and realizing that you did that and you're making a difference in a lot of people's lives um this month actually speaking of the rhythm Blues preservation society we are doing a library curation and what that means is that we are going to libraries and colleges and universities across the country and asking them to uh, put displays in their libraries of the books that we selected in honor of Hip Hop History Month. And if you didn't know, November is Hip Hop History Month, among other things that are celebrated during November. And we have selected eight schools, and, um, and they are putting their displays up as we speak, and we gave them their signage. And so it's really cool. This is our second library curation, our first one we did during Black Music Month. And we had actually 16 schools, and one of the schools was in London, um, King's College in London. So it was our first international curation that we did. So that's kind of fabulous, right? That's, that's kind of fantabulous, right? Um, so we weren't able to get everyone again for Hip Hop History Month, but you know, it's really cool that we got a couple of new schools this time around uh, that have agreed to participate with the Hip Hop History Month Library of Curation. So, you know, this is so many ways that you can preserve black music culture. And not only through music and, and art and film and television, but through books, through books. And you'd be surprised how many of your hip hop artists that you love and listen to have written a book. Uh, Boozy, Lil Boozy wrote a book. Of course, Jay-Z, um, 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 50 Cent's, uh, 50 Cent, um, um, Eminem, um, so many people, Prodigy, Prodigy of Mob Deep. I really challenge you to just Google, because Google's your friend, <laughs> and find out if your, if your favorite rap artist wrote a book or read, wrote a memoir. Little Kim wrote a memoir, and interesting to really, you know, take you to a whole nother level of understanding the musicians that you know and love. Okay. So I hope you're enjoying your fantabulous Friday. I'll be back on Magnificent Monday. And I hope that these videos are blessing you in a mighty way because that is the goal, to inspire, empower, and to encourage. So I hope that you'll come back, like, subscribe. I hope I'm doing the right direction. And come back again. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time.